55 members of the opposition were elected and we're joined today by two of them and Eng actually got more votes in his constituency than Hun Sen, who is currently running Cambodia. This needs the Australian government's intervention. Australia played a leading role in the current report in 1991 that started the democratic process in Cambodia. Australia now could take a leading role if we chose to do so. The Cambodian people, through the opposition party, through Sam Ramsey, are asking Australia to lead on the global stage to call for, firstly, an investigation into the irregularities into the voting into the elections last year. Secondly, they are calling for the complete reform of the Electoral Commission, which is under the control currently of the government, and that is a recommendation of the United Nations Rapporteur, that that Electoral Commission is reformed. We have to make sure that we secure this independent investigation, the reform of the Electoral Commission, and another election in Cambodia. Australia really is in the box seat to help. And the question is, will Tony Abbott's government step up and help Cambodia? So with that, I'm very pleased to introduce Sam Ramsey, who has a series of meetings here in the next couple of days on this very issue. Thank you, Christine. My delegation, including two elected members of parliament, we are here to call on Australia to take the lead of an international campaign to restore democracy in Cambodia. Democracy has fallen apart after the signing of the Paris Peace Agreement on Cambodia in 1991. And Australia played a prominent role in the signing of that international treaty. We are very grateful, very proud to have many friends in this uh, country, such as Senator Christine Miller, who had initiated a motion at the Senate calling for an end to political violence and to an investigation, investigation into the irregularities that have marked the last uh, election. Australia is well placed to take such a lead to help uh, Cambodia. Australia is a major donor country to Cambodia, which cannot survive, would not be able to survive without international assistance. Australia was a very important signatory of the Paris Peace Agreement on Cambodia, and Australia is, in our eyes, and a model of democracy in this uh, part of the world and we share and defend the same values such as democracy, human rights, good governance, the rule of law.